Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2019 VW Amarok. So from any system, it's on sat-nav at the moment. What we need to do, we can either go into telephone here, or we can go into menu and settings. I'll just show you. We'll click on phone. That's, that's trying to connect to a phone. There's nobody in here with that phone. So we go to settings. Select mobile phone and Bluetooth. We go to Bluetooth. Then you've got, if you're having trouble pairing a mobile at all, just do exactly the same thing. Make sure there's a tick in that Bluetooth. Now we want to go down this visibility, name, paired devices and find devices. We want, and also if you're having trouble playing audio, streaming music, make sure there's a tick there in Bluetooth audio. But we want paired devices. So we click paired devices and you'll see here, here's all the previous phones that have been connected in this family so we'll just go through them there's a bin at the side that's how you delete them individually or you can delete all so just the bin there delete that deletes one or delete all do you really want to delete all pair devices delete that's it they've all gone that's how to do that okay I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2019 VW Amarok uh, the first thing we do is switch on Bluetooth or make sure Bluetooth is on. Bluetooth there, there's a it's green. It's already picked up the VW system here. Now, I'm gonna go onto telephone anyway, but you can, you can go onto phone there or you can go in through menu, but you've got settings here. There's no phones connected here at the moment. It says find mobile phone there. Right, I'll click find mobile phone it's looking for a phone we'll just see what happens I'm not going to touch the phone here searching for devices you can actually pair it from the mobile as well by touching that but we'll, we'll do it this way As you can see that the device has gone off there so I'm expecting it to come up on the the system now there you go and you'll see the music and phone it's going to be connected for both of those which is quite important so click on that hands-free telephone connecting to Barry's iPhone confirm pairing does the pass key 133526 match 133526 so it's generated a random pin code you don't have to put one in we click yes there allow contacts and favorites to sync allow that's it connected and you'll see their VW BT6 connected so that's it okay I'll just show you how to play music through the Bluetooth audio system in this 2019 VW Amarok so from any screen we go to music here let's see what do we want um, we'll have days like this so I'm going to click play on there days like this that's playing I'm going to turn it down the important thing is at the bottom here where the speaker is at the bottom if you click on that that shows you your choices for here to play that music is either through your iPhone speaker or the VW system. The tick is next to the VW system. That means any music, any audio that plays on your phone, if you have this set up right, it will come through this system. So, what we do, we go over to media, like so, and that's already, that's already on Bluetooth audio. So I'll just turn that up. There you go. However, there is a, a possibility it could have been set to something else. It could have been on auxiliary, uh, CD or, or whatever. So you're looking for source. From here, if you're just looking at it, I'll just show you that again, you can't see anything. However, once you put your hand up to the screen, you will then see source in the corner. You click source and then you can change it to say auxiliary. It could easily come on, on, on auxiliary so you, you you're playing your music, nothing's coming through here. You've gone to media, so hand up, source, BT audio, turn up, 
That, that's it, that's how you, you stream audio. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this 2019 Volkswagen Amarok. Any screen, you want the sat nav, you've got nav here. Again, just watch out for the bottom there. There's a menu along the bottom, which confuses some people because if you're just looking at it like now, the, the, you just don't know what to do. However, as soon as your hand closes in, you get a new menu at the bottom. You've got new destination. So we'll click on new destination. Enter address, POI. So we're going to put the postcode in. Our postcode is Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, High Walton, Preston, P R 5 4 E A. Just thinking about that, there you go. PR5 4EA, Preston, England, United Kingdom. So we'll, we'll select that. It's brought up the little map. To go there now, we have to click start. Please select a route. There you go, it gives you a choice of three routes, fastest and, and most economical and blah, blah, blah. But click one and that's it, you're, you're off. Please follow that A675 for 100 yards. We're, uh, we're sat on the forecourt, so it's confused it a little bit. That's how you set the sat nav. Another couple of things that you, you may want, um, you'll see that's in daylight mode at the moment. You can have it, if you put your hand up there and click view, you've got auto, day or night. If you click night, then it, it goes dark. Sometimes you, you get in a car and it's, it's during the day and you can't see where you, you're going because, and, and that's it. And then you have to mess about with a screen trying to get it light, but it's, it's day or automatic. And again, I've put it on automatic, it's put it on night. Uh, the lights are on auto. It thinks it's dark outside because we're under a tree and it's, it's made that hard to see. So again, view, day, that's it. Great thing with this system in this uh, 2019 VW Amarok, if you plug your charging lead in, underneath there, forward of the gear stick, there's a USB socket underneath there. I won't show you how to do that because it's underneath here and my me, me hand's too big to get in the, the opening so uh, I have to mess about but let's see if we if we just do this click on that like so just watch Apple CarPlay new device detected would you like to connect with Apple CarPlay well yes I would so we'll click connect just CarPlay's come up it's connected sometimes you have to agree uh, for the system to use your phone when it's on the lock screen but here we go so we'll just click there click on Apple CarPlay allow CarPlay with Volkswagen while phone is locked that's the screen I was looking for so um, be because it timed out while I was showing you <laughs> it didn't it didn't let me do it at first but it, it has done now so now I can put my phone down I don't have to touch my phone again that's on audiobooks at the moment. However, this is the screen here, the, the main screen. That has uh, duplicated the home screen of my phone. You see there, phone, messages, audiobooks, maps, Spotify, um, Audible, WhatsApp. But that's your home screen. It's telling you what's going to be playing. I can just click that to play like so. And there you go. Well, is... That will play the music. That's telling me how long it is to, to get home. And, and that's the, the map. But we'll go back to the, the display. Now then, you need your voice activation switch, which is on the steering wheel. <laughs> You've got to have 2020 vision to see the, the little symbols on here. But that's it there. So if I, if I keep my a thumb or finger on this button for over two seconds, you'll see the Siri baseball come up here. Call Barry. Calling Barry, iPhone. There you go, that's ringing, it's ringing my phone. 
you can see there. It called me. So you don't have to do anything. We need to go back to Apple CarPlay. You'll see here app, app, click app, and then available devices, iPhone, Apple CarPlay. Please note that data is transferred over connections between your vehicle and mobile phone. OK. Connection will be established. So, so that's it. Come back. It, it just cuts off because I, uh, I knocked it off there. So again, you want, you're driving along, you want to send a message. The button here for a couple of seconds. Send message to Barry. What do you want to say to Barry? Just testing the Apple CarPlay system in this 2019 Volkswagen Amarok. It says, just testing the Apple CarPlay system in this 2019 Volkswagen Amarok. Send it. Yes, please. Done. That's the message sent. Now, you'll see that there's a one on the messages here. And uh, if you're like me, and somebody sends you a text and the phone's either in your pocket, you've heard it beep, you, you're dying to know who it is or what it is. Um, if I click on there, you'll see Barry there. So once I click on it. Barry said just testing the Apple Car Play system in this 2019 Volkswagen Amarok. Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say to Barry? It's a great system. I've seen it in other cars. It says, it's a great system. I've seen it in all the cars. Do you want to change it or send it? Send, please. Done. Now, again, by clicking the messages, you can get it to read it or you can click the voice activation button for a couple of seconds read texts Barry sent a new message it's a great system I've seen it in all the cars would you like to reply no thank you those are all your messages so you can you can call using the voice activation you can send texts if somebody sends you a text you can get the system to read it or without taking your hands off the steering wheel but it, again it's it's even better um, You've, you've got the navigation system, maps. You don't have to touch it. Um, it's also getting better as well. When it first came out, it couldn't recognize my accent. And, and no matter how many times I said somewhere, it, it would try and take me somewhere else. Now it seems to be a lot better. So again, the voice activation button for a couple of seconds. Take me to the Trafford Centre, Manchester. Getting directions to the Trafford Centre. Now the go button has come up. You can click the go button. If you just leave it and you don't do anything, countermand it, it will just automatically go and direct you there. There you go. Start on Blackburn, Blackburn Road. No, we're off the road at the moment, but as soon as you get on there, it would start. Now also, Take me to McDonald's, Capital Way, Preston. One option I found is McDonald's. Would you like that one? Yes, please. Getting directions to McDonald's. Now you can add that as a stop on, on the way to Manchester, which we, we just set. So I'll just click that, add it as a stop. So I can go to McDonald's first, and then it'll take me to Manchester. Brilliant system.